Alright guys, so here we are straight into pose number one and this is, I'm not going to lie, it looks epic but it is a really basic and simple pose. Um, I've just got him on the flight pole, hands spread out to the side and then just his feet kind of dangling in a, um, a kind of flight motion with the electric uh, accessories attached to his hands and his head tilted down. Now this is just quite an epic nice pose and in fact this is how I have him displayed as we speak. And it looks really nice. The hardest thing to pull off in this pose is kind of making that hood not look absolutely ridiculous, which I hope I've managed to pull off here. Um, so I'm not going to do a kind of how-to with this one because it is a very easy and straightforward. And the good thing about this, it doesn't put a lot of strain on the suit at all. The only thing to be concerned with, I suppose, is the waist grabber. Um, but you can, I, I've got it kind of anchored onto his um, plastic belt rather than the uh, material of the suit so I'm a little bit less concerned but there we go pose number one done and dusted now we're going to go on to pose number two we're going to get him off the flight stand and do kind of a, a bit more of a dynamic pose catch you in a sec all right and here is pose number two so slightly dynamic now I'll, I'll be honest this isn't something that you can pull the most dynamic poses um, out of the the suit is amazing and it does have good mobility for what it is but there are some limitations so here he is in a slightly dynamic pose I've switched out the head sculpt as well to the uh, eyebrow, <laughs> eyebrow raise head sculpt and I've just kind of got his arms tilted up in kind of an action ready pose um, so yeah this is a nice way to display it again not a lot of strain on the suit and now we'll just kick into how you can pull this pose off all right so the first thing you kind of want to do with this is sort out his cape because that is kind of key to kind of imitating movement through this and the wires in this are relatively good as well so we're going to tuck this up and around to kind of give that windswept look we're then going to bring his arm up and back so we're kind of pushing the elbow backwards ever so slightly. There we go, just like that. Now the slightly backwards motion on the elbow kind of gives it a more natural look, at least from my standpoint. And then we just bring this arm up and to the side, just to kind of imitate some motion. Now I brought that back arm up a little bit higher than in the original pose here, just because I kind of preferred the look this time around. And there's nothing wrong with that with your poses, guys. Every time you repose a figure, even if you try to kind of recapture the same, you're going to put slight different uh, variations into it, which is kind of the fun of this, right? So from here, we're now going to kind of twist that fire up, forwards, and then out ever so slightly, um, just like that, to kind of give that sideward step motion there. And there we pretty much have that pose. Now, again, a little bit different here. Um, and then you just kind of make some adjustments, little micro adjustments. So we're going to tuck that up and around, and then just kind of futz with the, um, the cape or the cloak a little bit to give more kind of windswept motion as you can see from the back here so we're tucking the words tucking that over to give that and then we're going to scrunch up the uh, the cape ever so slightly just to look like there's more wind and movement impacting how it's falling behind just to give it that natural look that we want and I think I've said natural look way too many times in this video so far but there we go so that is pretty much the pose set up slight adjustments to the hood now again the hood is the hardest thing to pull off on this i find the easiest way to kind of do it is to kind of pull the hood forwards and then kind of um squeeze the sides in and that gets rid of the uh the pointy tops like there we go if you just squeeze those in it eliminates some of the pointy top but all right guys now we're going to go on to our next pose right quick sidebar because this has happened a couple of times now this kind of head neck connector piece that you can see there gets stuck in a head sculpt quite a lot but it should stay on the neck connector now just get yourself a pair of pliers or tweezers and you can just pull this sucker right out and it doesn't cause any damage or any stress so don't worry if this does happen to you um, a bit annoying but you know there you go now right pose number three and we've got the cloak off and we've got 
what I'm going to call as an epic walking pose. Um, now, the difficulty with doing a walking pose with this figure is the absolute size of his fires just make it hard to kind of get the legs close enough together to make it look like a natural walking pose. This is about as close as I could get them. But again, I think this is a really nice display and it encaptures the character really well. Um, you got the hand kind of up in the front like he's about to conjure some lightning. He's walking forwards and the head sculpt on this is just really, really nice. And the suit design just lends itself. And in fact, the body design, this is just such an imposing figure, especially on the shelf. Um, it's something that has impressed me more than I thought. Um, when I first got this. But yeah, what we'll do now is we'll just nip in and see how we can pull this simple walking pose off. All right, so to kind of pull this pose off, it's relatively easy if I'm being honest. So it mainly comes from kind of legs, but also you want some natural movements throughout the body. So I'm just gonna tilt the head down a little bit because I like how he's looking kind of through his eyebrows as it were, it gives him a menacing look. You bring this thigh kind of up, so I'm just kind of lifting and pressing through the foot to give a natural bend there. And then you adjust the ankle so he balances. Now the back foot is a difficult bit is what I find, so you just kind of need to adjust this. Squeeze the thighs in as much as you can without putting too much strain on the body. And then eventually he will balance. Now if you have this on display, this might be a a crotch grab a moment. We're then going to twist the opposite shoulder to the leg that's stepping forwards forwards <laughs> as well to give that natural walking motion. And then the left arm are back slightly and the front arm we're going to bring up and forwards and then just twist that hand on through there. Now the good thing about this is there is limited strain again on the suit which is what we're kind of going for with a lot of these poses. We want some longevity and there we go and then it's just small micro adjustments but that is such an easy pose to pull off. There's a little bit of bunching in the uh, hip area there and at the back of the arm, but not a lot at all. So I think you can feel safe. All right, on to the next pose. All right, and for the final pose here, I've got kind of a battle ready uh, position, uh, which is what I thought I could pull off. So it's again, it's hard to pull off, at least for me in my creative creativity, it was hard for me to pull off like some ultra dynamic poses. And there's probably more you can do with the flight pole, but I wanted to go through some poses that were kind of less stress on that body um, in this one. So yeah, a basic kind of ready to fight stance with that eyebrow raised head sculpt, which lends itself really well to this. So now let's get stuck in and see how he poses. So guys, this isn't a difficult pose to pull off at all, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, the easier, the better I find. And sometimes less is definitely more um, with nice lifelike poses. So we're just gonna adjust the head sculpt a little bit here just to kind of give him the right look. We're gonna bring the arm up to the side and then bend at the elbow ever so slightly. So obviously I've got the fist hand here at the front one, balled into a fist like he's gonna fight. We're gonna introduce a little bit of ab crunch and I have to say the ab crunch in this is, is pretty nice. Um, from there we're gonna kind of twist that, um, we twist the fight outwards again away from the body and introduce a bend at the knee there. And then it's small micro adjustments from here, just on the arms until we have it as we like it. And then also we need to make sure the expression is in line with our um, how we're looking uh, as well. So a bit more fire. We want him to look like his weight is leaning into that lead leg. So the crunch and the fire here really helps as well. It also gives him that kind of coiled up look um, like he's ready to strike as well. And the back arm as well, we bring the elbow back and just twist it out to the left a little bit and that kind of creates that natural arm back and ready to fight pose. I've gone for an open hand in the back as well um, just because I like how it looked rather than two fists and there we go that's pretty much the same pose again like I said nice and easy to pull off and guys that will make our final pose. Thank you for watching we're going to go in a quick little show of all the poses so here we are pose number one my favorite pose personally. Pose number two, I quite like this one as well. And the walking pose is definitely an epic option. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in another video again soon. Peace out. <laughs>